Hey, what's going on? Today we're going to be going over the Aware Element, the indoor air quality monitor. Just a quick unboxing and then I'm going to show you how to link it up to the Aware app, to the Planet Watch app, and then hook up your Type 4 Planet Watch sensor. So when you open up the box, you're going to see the Aware Element. It's pretty standard. It's got a USB-C port in the back. And it also comes with a USB-A to USB-C charging cord and a power adapter. So if you haven't gotten your Type 4 license yet and you're in the U.S., keep in mind you have to pay with Planets now. It's pretty easy to do. If you need a little help with that, I made a video going over how to do it. And it's in the upper right-hand corner right now. Or if you want to wait till the end of the video, the link is in the description. But now's a good time to get that. Alright, so once we got everything plugged in, it's going to fire up. And I'll put it where it's going to go. First thing we're going to do is open up the Planet Watch app, and as you can see, sensors is in the bottom left hand corner. We don't have anything in there, but that's okay because the first thing we're going to do is import our Algorand wallet, and you can do that by hitting the little plus symbol in the upper right hand corner and create account. Now you can create a new account if you don't have an Algorand wallet yet, or you can hit recover passphrase if you do have one, and you're going to have to recover your passphrase. Hopefully when you created your Algorand wallet, you wrote down your account name and the 25 words. So in order to get them, you're going to go into your Algorand wallet. And then there's three little dots next to your account. You're going to click that. And then view passphrase. Once you get your passphrase, you're going to write it in exactly as they have it in order. And when you're finished, hit done. And then verify. And then you can see that your Algorand wallet is now inside your Planet Watch app. So they're all linked together, which is good. And now that we have that, as you can see, we still don't have any sensors in our account. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go into the Aware Element app. So if you don't have that, make sure you download it and you're going to create an account if you haven't already. But when you open up the Aware app, you're going to click the little plus button to set up your Aware. And then you're going to click the Find Aware button. And after you do that, it's going to ask you to connect your Aware element to Wi-Fi. So click Find Your Network. And then select your home network from the list. And then it's going to ask for your password. So put in your password. And it's going to take a couple minutes to connect. Um, now's a good time to mention you should also be using the same email address for your Aware element that you use for the Planet Watch app and the same email address that you use to purchase your Type 4 license. They all need to be linked together. So whenever you're ready, press continue. And it's just going to take a few seconds to load up. And then it's going to ask you what room you're installing it in. So click My Room, and then you're going to name it. So I just named mine based off of where I'm putting it exactly, which is the bedroom. And then it's going to go to customize your wear element. So you can do that based off of whether you are concerned about sleep, allergies, baby, productivity. And then it's going to have you go through a couple things. It's going to tell you your temperature, your humidity, your CO2. It's going to tell you your chemicals in the air. And it's going to also tell you your PM 2.5. So after you do that, it's going to give you your overall score. I have a 91, which is good apparently. And then it tells you how to change the awareness display, which is just a little toggle button on the back. All right, so once we're done with that, you're going to click this little plus sign in the Planet Watch app. Next, select your license, and then select your sensor, then select proceed, and then you're going to have to sign into your Aware Element app. So press continue, and then you're going to put in your credentials for logging into the Aware Element app. Just tying the two apps together so Planet Watch can pull its information from Aware. So the only thing you really needed the Aware app for was to set up your element and then once you're done with that you don't need that app anymore. You'll be able to see everything through the Planet Watch app. So now I'll select your sensor and then select your wallet and it's going to give you a little summary and you got to put in your address. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable the face ID. Um, so it's a lot easier to log in. So once you verify that, um, then you can go back to the summary and that's where you're going to put in your address. Now this is where it links your address to Planet Watch so it knows where it's pulling the information from. 
So make sure you put in a good address. I know Planet Watch was having an issue where it, the sensor was not working correctly with home addresses, so you had to put in their their headquarters address, and that's still ongoing. So um, I actually it's something I had to fix after the fact, but once it's working, you can update your address in there. So whenever you're finished doing that, hit proceed, and then it should take a couple minutes for it to fully activate. And then once that's done, you can see a transaction went through. They deposited some algo into my wallet. So the algo that they deposit is actually something that they're going to use every time they do a transaction of depositing planets into your account. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost a fee. But this is something that's already pre-built into the license cost. If you expand show all assets, it shows you that there's two other little transactions that went through, once for the sensor, once for the license. They're, they're always going to be there. It's nothing you really have to worry about. And that's it. It's pretty much set it and forget it. Once you've done this, you're ready to start earning some planet tokens just for providing your air quality data. And um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe for more videos. I got an Atmo2 Pro I'm about to set up, and I'm about to show you how to do that next week. Thanks for watching.